Welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about entity types, entity sets and also along with the keys and value sets. Right? So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So to get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. Please watch the video till the end and support me guys. So let me begin the explanation of entity types, entity sets, keys and value sets. I'll take one by one. So wh what is entity type and what is the entity set? So entity type is nothing but entity type is a collection of entities that have the same attributes. Very simple. I can group the entities into entity set if they have the same attributes. For example, you can see the apply entity is having the same attribute name age salary right i can group those employees see name john smith fred brown judy clapp see i can group this entity into a set right first of all entity types means what entity type is nothing but you are going to collect you are going to group the entities that have the same attributes that is the entity type here the employee entity have the same attribute name age salary next each entity type in the database is described by its name and attributes you know that figure show two entity types employee and company and a list of some attributes for each so what are the attributes here employee entity have a attribute name age and salary company Entity will have attribute name, headquarters and president, right? I can group this different types of employees, employee 1, employee 2, employee 3, company 1, company 2. So you can see there, right? That is nothing but the entity set. See, the collection of all the entities of a particular entity type in the database at any point of time is called an entity set or entity collection. So what it is entity collection? Entity collection means the collection of all the entities of a particular entity type. So here employee entity type contains the employee 1, employee 2, employee 3. Company entity type contains C1, C2. That is company 1, company 2. You can see there. Right? This is the entity set. It contains the collection of all the entities of a particular entity type. Hope you are understanding guys. Sometimes entity set is called as a extension. Right? Next, entity set is usually referred to using the same name as the entity type. You can see that. The entity set also called as a employee only. Entity type is also employee only. Same name. I am going to use the same name. Employee, right? Employee 1, employee 2, employee 3. Same name. And one more important thing in a year diagram. Entity type is represented as a rectangular box. When I discuss the year diagrams in detail, you will get a more idea about this. And attribute names are enclosed in ovals. And they are uh, attached to the entity through straight lines. And composite attributes are attached to the component attributes by straight lines. Multi-valued attrib multi attributes are displayed in double ovals. So you can see there. Entity is represented in a rectangular box. For example, car is an entity represented in a rectangular box. A vehicle ID is an attribute, it is represented in a vowel and it attaches to the entity through straight line. So, these uh, notations you will understand once I discuss the uh, ER diagrams in a more uh, detailed way. Right? And one more important thing I can told you uh, uh, the entity set can be also called as an extension because I can group that uh, all the familiar entities into a set that's why right so hope you are understanding guys so here entity type is nothing but a it's a collection of entities that have similar attributes same attributes see employee is one type company is another type so this employee uh, type can contain a collection of uh, right 
particular entities then this collection of all these entities that is e1 e2 e3 can be called as entity set and entity set can be called as extension extension also hope you are understanding guys right this notations uh, you will get more idea when i discuss here diagrams next key attributes of a entity type what is a key attribute so uh, for example you have here you have three entities e1 e2 e3 you have to identify each entities you should have a way to identify this uh, entities different different entities right how you are going to do that how are going to identify the entities what is the key attribute for example uh, each entity should have some key or uniqueness constraint each entity should have that uh, uniqueness constraint for each entity this uh, value should be different and i can use this a value to identify the each entity for example here car car is a entity right and we have some set entity sets here uh, how many entity sets are there car 1 car 2 car 3 you can see there uh, the uh, registration number or a vehicle id can be a unique key here based on the registration number i can identify the different different cars based on the vehicle id i can identify the different different cars i can't use a color as the key value because color two two or three cars can have the same color so uniqueness won't be there here uh, for a student the id is the uniqueness key i can identify the student by their id in the same way here i can identify the car through registration number or a vehicle id hope you are understanding right so here the entity can be usually identified by this uh, key attribute and this key attribute can't be same for two different entities key attribute should be different for different entities for example the name attribute in the key of the company right uh, here name attribute see for a company if i take a, a company the name of the company can't be same two companies can't be same so name can be a key attribute for a company hope you are understanding guys next for the person entity type key attribute is ssn ssn means social security number it is same as your id so id can't be same for uh, two persons so that uh, ssn can be a key attribute for right person for a car registration number or a vehicle id can be a key attribute hope you are understanding guys so key attribute means two entities can't have the same value just remember that two entities can't have the same value right and one more important thing if i say key attribute uh, key attribute can be combination of two or more attributes for example a uh, vehicle id and registration attributes of the entity type car right can be combined here for example vehicle id i can use registration also also i can use i can combine both this registration and vehicle id to form a key attribute if i say key attribute it's not a only single attribute i can combine two attributes to get the key attribute for example you can see registration abc abc is repeated but vehicle id you can see it will be different for uh, different vehicles so even if the registration uh, even if it is anything is repeated here a state number you see in a registration number can be repeated state can be repeated but vehicle id can't be repeated that's why right i can do i can do the combinations of two attributes to get the key attributes like this hope you are understanding guys you can see uh, state Texas, New York, Texas is repeated two times. So at that time, vehicle ID can't be repeated, right? That's why I can uh, form the key attributes by combining two attributes also. Next, value sets, domains of attributes. For example, each attribute of entity type is associated with a value set. For example. i can define some range to the values of the attributes for example for age 
I can define some ranges. For example, for an employee, if the ranges of ages allowed between 16 and 70, we can specify the value set of the age attribute should be within 16 and 70 only. If anybody tries to enter the age above 70, it won't take. Now, I can specify the range of range for the values of the attributes. If you try to enter the age 14, it won't take. If you want to enter the age, it should be within 60 and 70 only. You can specify the uh, right set also for the values. Uh, the value should be within this set. What is that set? Between 16 and 70. You can do like this also. For the attribute, you can give this uh, set of values to enter. Hope you are understanding guys. So, if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.